Alright, welcome to another No BS Photo Success Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial here, I'm going to show you how to make a real quick and dirty wall panel. Uh, we create these for our clients all the time. I do everything right in Photoshop. It takes me a few minutes to do. Uh, we print these out at about 30 inches by 12 inches. We either mount them on masonite and laminate them or mount them on gator board for uh, quick hanging. Uh, what I do here is I've got four images that I'm going to have in my wall panel. It's almost like a storyboard panel. So I've got my four images already workflowed and already sized to the size I want. I like my image to go directly across, all the way across uh, the panel with no spaces in between, which I'm going to show you how to do. So first thing I do is I got my canvas here, and it's about 12 by 30. And, uh, I, you know, I can... Uh, Let's let's start with the background color. Let's, I'll talk about colors for a second. Now, when we create our um, our panels, I like the colors to harmonize with each other. So I like the colors in the image uh, to harmonize with the color of the actual background. So I know right now that my colors in my backgrounds are going to be uh, probably in the pinkish and uh, light purples. So let's go ahead right away. Let's just add a background color. I'm just going to take my color dropper here, and I'm going to take a dark. Uh, let's go with a dark pink or purple here, whatever you want to call it. There we go. And use a paint br uh, paint bucket, and we'll just drop that right in there. There we go. Now, let's just drag all these images. I'm just going to drag them one by one, holding the... Just click and drag. Get rid of that. Let's grab this. Click and drag. Get rid of that. I've already got that one. And we're just going to click and drag. Perfect. Now we'll just use... We'll be working on this image here. Now I want to find the center of my um, want to find the center of my background image so I'm just going to go view new guide and in the horizontal axis I'm just going to type in 50 percent and that's just going to place a guide right in the middle of my um, my canvas. So now I'm simply just going to drag let's take on auto selector and let's just drag all our images up into onto here. Uh, I've got no particular order with these like I said, I like my images to go right across the whole thing, so let's just drag this right here, click this one over, get it, ah, perfect. So, I've got my background, and I've got my four layers, as you, as you can see here. Now, I'm not going to change anything on here, well, you know what, let's just, for argument's sake, let's just change this up for the heck of it. We'll just put that there, and there, perfect. Now, I've got the top layer selected, I'm just going to merge uh, these images, so holding... Um, Control, pressing the E, merge down one layer. There. Now I've got my images on one layer. And I just noticed something. I got a little bit of a space on there. So let's just zoom in a bit. There, you can see that little space right there. There we go. There we go. Are we all good here, boys? I believe we are. All right. Control E, Control E, Control E. Gander. Yeah, we're good to go. Perfect. Now, now in all reality, here's my panel. Here, I got my background, and I've got all my images on one, um, one layer. Now, this is kind of boring right now, so let's add a little bit more color to it. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to select uh, an inch from the top and an inch from the bottom, just using my marquee tool. So there's an inch there. And holding my shift key down to add to the selection, let's just go an inch here. Perfect. And I'm going to press Control J and put that selection on its own layer. So now I've just got that. Now, if I wanted to change the color on this, I could do many things. I can just select it and fill it in with a paintbrush or the paint bucket. Or, you know what, I can simply just go into my levels and just increase the levels to get a brighter or a darker color. So let's just go there, see what I got. Ah, you know what? I like that. Just like that. So I am going to just flatten the two bottoms. So now I've got that and that. Now, if you've got your brushes, a lot of people like to do brushes and stuff like that and add like swirlies and stuff like that. Let's just go ahead and do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to layer, new layer, and I'm just going to put new layer and have a blank layer just so I have it on its own layer so I can change the opacity of the brush or whatever and let's just choose let's just choose a squiggly brush here there's many brushes in the form that you can go grab in the download sections uh, you can create or make your own brush let's just see 
We've got something here. Something that's going to go fairly nice with it. All right, here we go. Now, I have got it on its own layer. I'm going to increase the size. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the color to white. And I'm just going to drop this in here. Let's just go, let's just say like that. Okay. Now let's drop the opacity down to say, I don't know, 40%, 50%. 20%. I want it just barely visible. Just like that. Perfect. Now, what I can do is let's just kind of keep this symmetrical here. So, using my move tool, I'm going to hold my um, alt key down. I'm just going to click that layer and drag it down here. Just like that. And pressing control T to bring up the free transform. transform I'm just going to go rotate 180 degrees. And that'll just bring it down into the same spot as I had it there just like that perfect and if I wanted to I mean you can you know you can keep going as many ways as you want you know if you want to change the size or whatever 